am Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Is there for <laughs> Yes, Dr. Alzheimer's. <laughs> well, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Oh. Uh, we're off at age 62. 62. Alzheimer's. Yeah. <laughs> is the nurse fault in here? <laughs> yeah. Where am I? I'm right here, doctor. You used to be a renowned surgeon until he got Alzheimer's. Right. I came, I to, came say to say anymore. goodbye because I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be around tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? <laughs> hey, I've only been here for six minutes, but thank you for many years. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Where did this guy come from? Uh, he's he's like the leader oh, of the oh, bunch. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. I thought he was I thought he was arriving to replace her. Oh, I thought he that he was like a homeless guy and he just came in <laughs> yeah. and he's like, "Where's nurse? Whatever." And she's like, "I am not her. I found these clothes in a closet." <laughs> <laughs> Can I take all of these syringes? <laughs> I just need all of them. Of course, sir. I wish I could stay and learn from you a little oh longer. Oh my god, it's like fucking Sakura Spirit that occasionally breaks out into surgery. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid Dr. Castle surpassed me as a surgeon years ago. <laughs> Dr. Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your stupid old face. <laughs> Good luck with your new job, don't be a stranger, alright? And any rate, I'll have other matters to attend to. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> she starts talking and you just hear like <laughs> Stop I wish I could have seen Dr. Huffman in action more often But he hasn't performed any operations since That incident Oh god Oh shit You're uh, just gonna glaze over it now He's like I agree 9-11 changed everything <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't know anybody but you know, It was just Oh. Patriot Act. <laughs> I understand you don't have much information to make decisions. All right, to admit that the trouble was difficult to set up. It's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, it's like, go ahead. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mrs. Thompson, please excuse me. I understand it's a little rude, but I have something to say. What is it? It's about the negligent attitude Mr. Dallas has displayed thus far. I warned about the patient at least three times, but he said that there were important personal matters he had to take care of. And then he just walked out without another word. Maybe he did patience, but how can I work under a doctor who doesn't even try to act like one? Miss Thompson, nobody likes a tattletale. <laughs> it doesn't matter how small or groundless his suspicion might be. Patients are depending on you to take care of him. Why don't you become a doctor? Do you even know? That is, I... Uh, you don't deserve to be here. Damn, Angie. Not a real doctor. She's like, oh. you know what? I'm dot, dot, dot! I'm not gonna let you have sex with me anymore. <laughs> you fucked that one up. Meanwhile, the main doctor is like, Miss Thompson does have a good point. She's got a perfect <laughs> 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 Dr. Hoffman's grown an acute sense of... <laughs> <laughs> I come to you to tell you word you about something. Dr. Castle tells me you may have shown potential for the <laughs> healing touch. <laughs> oh, shit. I would like you to show me the <laughs> healing touch. It seems you have invisible touches. <laughs> it takes a hold and grabs right hold of your heart. It uh, seems to me... Do you not like Phil Collins? <laughs> uh, is this... Uh, it seems to me that you have wiener squeeze. <laughs> Disease. <laughs> I would like you to show me wiener squeeze. <laughs> Where the wiener squeeze disease is bothering you. Because <laughs> I've never seen it myself. Did he just talk about Aclepius or Asclep... Oh. Yeah, the god of medicine. Oh, okay. With... Those with the healing touch have certain special qualities. The keenest judgment, unbreakable focus, and unmatched surgical skill. Mm. Haven't you noticed any changes during your operation? Well, yes. Many of my patients went from living to death. <laughs> my pants got smaller every time that Angie helped me. <laughs> Sometimes it starts to feel like time is... Sometimes it starts to feel like time is moving much more slowly than usual. 
That might be a result of getting old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes do like, like and, and it definitely marks you. Marks you. <laughs> marks you. Marks you. <laughs> you need to forget about them. Those things are unnecessary. What? If you pursue this, yes, you'll become an unparalleled surgeon, but you're prepared for the pain that will bring you? Doctor. I mean, Derek. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very tired. And Derek's hands are heavy. <laughs> patience depend on us. And also, my patience depends on you getting the fuck out of my office. <laughs> they put their lives in those hands. Can you imagine how heavy that burden would be with the healing touch? There aren't many doctors who could endure such a weight. I'm only telling you this for your own good. Forget about that power and be a normal doctor. You'll never be happy otherwise. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Are you senile? They're coming this way. Oh my god. Right now you're standing in a large door, knocking. <coughs> then the milkman comes in. Yeah. And you say, I didn't order any milk. <laughs> and then and he, he fucks, fucks your wife! <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, it's happened to me at least 30 or 40 times. I'm counting! <laughs> Get your mind off of surgery for a while. But I... And then knock knock gets the pizza man. He's like, did you order a pizza with sausage? And then your wife is like, yes, but I said hold the pizza. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm here. Wait. Oh, please, come in. <laughs> Never mind, I didn't realize it was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please, cat. <laughs> Pardon me, but why was I called to your office? Why do oh, why don't you have a look at this examination report first? Was who, who? Linda Reed. Uh, what do these hand headings mean? I don't recognize them. Positive chiral reaction? I believe it's chiral. Positive spectral analysis G1R? Those tests are beyond our capabilities, so we enlisted the help from an outside organization. PETA. <laughs> In the last few years, a bizarre disease with varying symptoms has been reported. In several isolated cases. Sorry, that was a run-on sentence. <laughs> the, two th the two things they had in common? Each victim's body turned against itself, and they all died. Because of that, we believe each subject was infected with guilt! Gangliated eutrophin immunolatency toxin. Oh yeah, sure. Wow. Totally. I can't believe I got that right on the first fucking just... Wow. Alright. I'm sure they came up with that before, and then we're like, You know what? That spells guilt! <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Then you think Reed's illness was... Exactly. <laughs> then Reed's guilt was... <laughs> <laughs> Did I change my diaper? <laughs> Could you change my diaper? This tie is a clip-on. <laughs> I, I might, I might poop a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to treat her without the proper resources. Like cranberries. I love cranberries. <laughs> It was a difficult operation, but I wanted to save her. Well, Giant Cranberry, that decision may have changed your life. The organization we mentioned before has requested you join them. What? Why me? Your healing touch ability allowed you to successfully cure a guilt victim. <laughs> what organization is this? The International Cranberry Association <laughs> of America. I <Ica> <laughs> I go, ah. <laughs> They're an arm of the World Health Organization that specializes in exterminating intractable diseases that threaten mankind. They're called Caduceus. Cranberries? <laughs> Cranberry douches? <laughs> An old ice cream truck used to carry that flavor. <laughs> 1960. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen them listed in essays on cancer and AIDS treatments. Aren't they the ones who eradicated the TFTA influenza last year? It's pronounced Tufta. <laughs> Caduceus wants me. What are you going to do, Derek? 
Yes. Well, You've been offered a chance to work at the forefront of modern medicine. Okay, go ahead and interrupt me. Well, I mean, it's an honor, but it's all so sudden. I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, it changed my whole life. You don't need to decide right away. Mmm, now. <laughs> Just, Just remember, remember that this is a choice, not an order. A choice you should say yes to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only reason I'm telling you this is because an old friend asked me to. He's even older than me. He's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> say hello. <laughs> it's like a stuffed cat. <laughs> this is Mr. Fluffy Bottoms. <laughs> He asked me to ask you if you have any cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm against you joining Caduceus. I don't want you hogging all the cranberries. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Why? I just told you. I don't think a research laboratory is the right environment for you. Didn't you say you wanted to help patients face to face? That's true. Ass to ass? <laughs> You should probably see this as well. <laughs> it's a stuffed dog. <laughs> yeah. This is Tinker Bottoms. <laughs> a letter. Yes. <laughs> C. <laughs> For cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Death is denied to those who seek it, should, though it be their destiny. They search for it like treasure, but the modern age conceals it. What's this supposed to mean? It arrived shortly <laughs> after Linda Reed was hospitalized. Inside a fortune cookie. <laughs> it's my granddaughter's creative writing class. <laughs> She's six. <laughs> she writes a lot of emo poetry, whatever that is. You don't know who sent it. Supposedly these letters arrived shortly before guilt does. Uh, that means guilt doesn't occur naturally. No, <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, I mean, Which means it could be some kind of man-made virus. It doesn't mean anything. The World Health Organization is considering a terrorist activity. What? What? So I agree. This game is going <laughs> off the rails. Someone's creating guilt and releasing it into society. We don't have any leads as to who or why. Almost as if it meant it's meant to confuse us. The UN even created a new term to describe it. Stupid terrorism. <laughs> Dumbass expository <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of ideas at the writing table. Or Deb. <laughs> <laughs> Caduceus is anticipating a large guilt outbreak. And they need skilled doctors to be ready for it. Hopefully now you see the stakes involved in this. Oh, stakes. <laughs> <laughs> what a little cranberry sausage! <laughs> Think it over! Don't make your decision lightly, Thanksgiving's right around the corner! <laughs> <laughs> the burger is sometimes great too, but. Oh no, man. I don't know. The decision is yours. <laughs> Holy crap, this fucking game. For the uh, greater good. For the greater good. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss old guy. <laughs> yeah, me too. I really like him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, cool. Hope Hospital, room 207. <laughs> well, what do you know? Yeah. Do it. Thank you so much, <laughs> doctor. It hurts so badly. I thought I was a goner. Well, appendicitis is a fairly common condition, but congratulations on your recovery, Mr. Sassano. <laughs> if my wife gets sick, I'll make sure you're the one operating on her. I'll just watch. Ha ha ha. That's... That barely qualifies as a joke. <laughs> hey, hey, well, it would probably be... Oh. It would probably be better if she didn't get sick at all. Sh no shit! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! like the fingers at him and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy! <laughs> 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 Talking with the patients is one of my favorite parts of the job. Ah, <laughs> you! Ah, this guy, this guy. He's like seven miles down the road. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, we're back in Dr. Hoffman's office. Hello! Hey, uh, Dr. Hoffman, I'm going to accept the offer from Caduceus. Great job doing that thing I told you not to do, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> So, you're willing to throw away your own happiness for this? I know about what happened to you in the past. 
I know that having superior skills will only create more pressure to succeed. That everyone will expect me to have answers nobody else has. I'm sure those are valid concerns, and the path I've chosen will probably cause me a lot of pain. But I became a doctor so that nobody would have to die from an incurable disease. Not ever again. Incurable means you, you can't be cured. <laughs> Diseases are painful. <laughs> Trucks are weird. <laughs> Very good, Doctor! <laughs> any other insightful nonsense for <laughs> Any other information nuggets you'd like to share? Water's wet! <laughs> What's up with cats, right? <laughs> and losing something to a disease is even more painful. It's hard for doctors to tell people their loved ones can't be cured. I have five fingers! I'm gonna make sure they won't have to. Caduceus has already found ways to save thousands of people. I'm this many years old. <laughs> if I could somehow help them find cures for incurable diseases, then stop right there. Yes. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> Listen to yourself. <laughs> you can't, you, you can't honestly believe these things. <laughs> well, you know what? Go ahead, join Caduceus. Yeah, have, have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how that turns out for the greater good. Oh man! <laughs> New begin. Yay, Doctor Hoffman. Today was time. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't even walked in the door yet. Hello! <laughs> He's just in an empty room. <laughs> Hello, flower plant! <laughs> du, 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 du. Dr. Hoffman, we've been out here for ten minutes. Open the door! <laughs> they're, they're sta they've been standing in there for ten minutes and he's like, Come in! <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you worried? <laughs> I wouldn't say worried. <laughs> I'd say more poop myself. <laughs> <laughs> Pooped him. We're down to one doctor and one assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I just laughed so hard at the part that... <laughs> Pooped him. <laughs> oh, the irony. Pooped him. <laughs> uh, We're down to one doctor and one assistant. I just said that. <laughs> Looks like I gotta put on the old white robe again. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts on like like a one piece jammy. <laughs> He's like, where's my scalpel? <laughs> it won't be easy to operate with two of our best people, God. <laughs> Luckily, I can make up people whenever I want. <laughs> Derek has potential, but he's far from perfect. I wasn't about to send him to Caduceus without an assistant he's comfortable with. <laughs> Besides, Caduceus is supposed to help us find replacement staff. I see. Still, I didn't expect Styles to be a selfless humanitarian type. Do you think he'll be able to handle the pressure? Who? Oh. <laughs> yeah. What pressure? <laughs> I suppose we'll find out. I'm feeling a little pressure in my butthole. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> He's pooped him. Lemon's doctor's laughing. <laughs> He's going to be surprised. I didn't get a chance to tell him about Sydney. Oh! What? Actually, I found that <laughs> as director, I have too much time on my hands. I was hoping these two would talk at some point. <laughs> yeah. I've been playing background in Kino for <laughs> hours. <laughs> Can't seem to get the jackpot. I think a doctor of your ability wouldn't have time to spare. <laughs> oh, are you here to visit your primary student? <laughs> how, how are you feeling, Secretary Anders? Done! Dr. Hoffman, when did you get here? Derek wasn't my student, Richard. I didn't teach him anything. <laughs> Truth be told, don't really care for the lab. <laughs> oh, hey, Derek. <laughs> I've been known the secretary for a long time and came to see him. I'm sorry that I've been had to be on the such a part of the Oh, no, he's stroking. It is. No, that's just how he sounds. It isn't your fault. This is no ordinary disease. He's stroking. 
He's stroking to the west. Stroking to the east. Stroking. Stroking to the east. Stroking to the west. Stroking to the woman that I love the best. He's stroking. Sorry, am I in the way? He's like fucking leaning over him. Sorry. Am I in the way? He's just rolling around on the bed like. Oh, I like to cuddle. <laughs> Pretend I'm not here. I, if I don't move, you can't see me. Because you're a Tyrannosaurus. I want you to be able to do your job. He starts like opening and closing the blinds and shit, yeah. and, like flicking on and off the lights. Like, we have a lot of technology in this office, don't we? This is Morse code for hello. <laughs> Where do you keep the cranberries? <laughs> Richard, I'll be honest. <laughs> You're not gonna be happy, but I took a look at your farts. <laughs> Just kidding, your charts. Little doctor joke. <laughs> I'll be going to take part in the briefing as well. Is that all right? Yeah, uh, I guess. Probably perfect. Don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> I'm only acting as an advisor. And only until you're discharged. <laughs> Ew! So discharged. Let's, so let's push on that stomach now. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy discharge. I hope you can forgive my selfishness. As he as he cuddles him harder. I heard there was a delicious swirly lollipop inside you, and I <laughs> I want to get at that shit. <laughs> well, I had a request for you as well. You can't have the lollipop. <laughs> Even if I said no, it wouldn't stop you. Do what you think is best. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> is Director Castle here? I'll go speak with him then. <laughs> is Steven here? <laughs> Steven's been dead for 25 years, Doctor. Get some rest, Richard! <laughs> <laughs> Call him up! <laughs> See if he's willing to come in today. <laughs> Get him on the magic picture box! <laughs> How's he doing? His poopy butt is stabilized. I don't know! No! It's a miracle in itself that his body could withstand three operations. Three operations? That's what I said. Apparently the Pepti strain focuses its attack on the nervous system first. Apparently the Pepti strain focuses attack on the garlic that we simmer it with. Mmm. <laughs> Simmer garlic. <laughs> Can you imagine what kind of pain Dick must have been in? <laughs> My dick is constantly in pain. Yeah. My prostate is the size of a grapefruit. Anywho, painkillers <laughs> would have interfered with our test results. So he hid the pain. He fought against guilt all by himself. <gasps> wow, what a stri- what a- Is he gonna wake up? Yes, child. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having a nice nap. <laughs> he slowly puts the pillow over her mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Child. God only knows. The only thing we can do now is pray. What do you what do To you Satan! <laughs> oh, incurable disease. That doesn't bode well. Oh, that bodes well for me. <laughs> Richard! Are you alright? It's <laughs> just some like lady. She's like, I I'm Bess. <laughs> yeah, it, like the he, he Richard died like three days ago and the bed's empty. <laughs> Richard! <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'd almost forgot to ask you about that request of mine. That's right, I remember you mentioning it. Mm, I made a note to myself to remember. <laughs> I'm leaving Caduceus in your hands. <gasps> what are you talking about? <laughs> What's a Caduceus? Is, is that okay with you, Sidney? No, Do actually. <laughs> Dr. Hoffman was a very skilled surgeon, but... Exactly! That's all in the past! I haven't performed an operation in YES! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't control the volume of my voice anymore. He finally like raises up his arms and they're like hook hands. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like <gasps> <laughs> Oh right, I forgot my hook hands. I, they've been interlocked behind my back this entire time, which is why I couldn't raise them. Let's get it cracking. <laughs> Heal and touch, don't fail me now. <laughs> uh, what good is a useless doctor like me to Caduceus? Why did it stop operating? Oh, uh, the aforementioned hook hands. What does the word stop operating mean? <laughs> <laughs> you told me that your greatest joy was being able to help patients. You're the last person ever to press the pen and back of paper from you. Uh, my hands! <laughs> they have grown too heavy being metal. 
and hook like. <laughs> I need to upgrade to the new space titanium <laughs> hook hands. <laughs> <laughs> I can't heal people, there's no doubt about that. What? <laughs> the healing touch let me save patients that nobody else can. <laughs> but it's impossible to save every single person. Especially when you're constantly stabbing them. Like you. You're dying, for instance. <laughs> that burden is too great. Can't bear it. Bear? <laughs> Bill, try to do it <laughs> all alone. You haven't changed at all. Can't you see the doctors and nurses here ready to part you? <laughs> doctors like Derek and Greg and that asshole, Victor. You don't have to fight alone. That may be, but I... Have you forgotten already? Your patients are fighting too. What? My money's on the tall guy. <laughs> <laughs> The patients who operated on an ass, you can break right up. Even if they end up in chaos, nobody understands that more than I do. Now, some people may be disappointed that you couldn't save their loved ones, but nobody played it to stop trying. Is he gonna? Is he just gonna like evaporate? Like what? He's like, oh, farewell. It's time for me to go. <laughs> he was so wise, <laughs> Richard. I remember something you told me back in our college days. You said that people should never. <laughs> Back in our college days, you said, pass that shit. <laughs> You're bogarting the roach. <laughs> and I remember those words like it was yesterday. <laughs> then we fucking tweaked out on Pink Floyd. Also, you said that people should never have to hear that their condition is incurable. There are doctors here, like Derek Stiles, who feel the same way. <gasps> But perhaps you've changed. No! I Tell me then. If it isn't what you believe anymore, I understand. But if you still want to save the unsavable, I want you to. Lead Caduceus in my place. <gasps> Treat the injured. Save the weak. Pet the puppies. Richard! Eat the Twinkies! <laughs> Richard! <laughs> Pooped him. <laughs> Poop my pants. Wait, I'm still alive. Caduceus is a group of people who refuse to accept that some diseases cannot be cured. Richard! There's no... Stop it! Stop. <laughs> Stop it, Richard. Stop. <laughs> We should discuss this after you've recovered and left the hospital. Oh, okay. I won't be leaving. My place is here, with Caduceus. <gasps> I hope you'll stay as well. Wow. Even if I'm... Sleeping. <laughs> What's the word? <laughs> Sleep, a further walk. I will... Still kill Bill. Yeah. Ah! The sunset is blue. Did he just die? We yeah, just he, saved him. He straight up died. What the fuck? just saved no, him. That's what they were. That's why Angie was crying in the jello room. Oh. I never forgot what I told you. I remember everything and still believe what I said. You fucking bogarted <laughs> that roach! <laughs> I'm sober as a tack over here. <laughs> Nothing's changed. What have I been doing all these years? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you think I was dead? Yeah, I did a dramatic pause before I said sleeping and everything. Uh, well, I'm glad to hear it anyway. I knew you hadn't changed, Robert. That's why I recommended Derek. That's why you recommended Derek. I'm <laughs> very confused. You knew that he could help Caduce. I'm close to dying here. I, ca I can't say words. Robert, please, take care. Of Caduceus. Uh, and then, like, fades to another color background. <laughs> and he's like, Are you? The morning is beautiful here. <laughs> oh, I'll miss you, Robert. Do you remember that? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I promise I'll work hard to bring our dream to life. But these hook hands. Count on it! Like I can count on my fingers to two. <laughs> One, two, 
<laughs> so, so are you dead or not? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to call the coroner. Can you call the coroner, please? Why are you calling the coroner? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, next time on Game Grubs. Okay. Welcome back to Game Grubs. Hello. Welcome back huh. to the greatest show on earth. Is it? No. Oh. I just figured, you know, telling the same lie over and over will make me really believe it. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, welcome back to the show that makes me feel like a horrible person. That's the one. My name is Dr. <laughs> Robert Hoffman. Hello. It's like Derek's like, uh, hi. <laughs> and I'm the new executive director of Caduceus. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yes. I've, I've met you literally seven times. I'd like to say a few words. <laughs> Crumble, <laughs> apple bottom, <laughs> g-string, and crack, <laughs> and scrumptious. Mm. Anyway, the late Richard Anderson was a truly extraordinary man. He's like talking to Richard Anderson. <laughs> um, <laughs> though he was a politician, his true passion was the medical field. And grandma's apple pies! Am I right? Mm. Shout out to Gma, <laughs> Which of course led to the formation of Caduceus. The wine company. Secretary Secretary Anderson was a man of incredible vision. <laughs> it was 2020 all the way. <laughs> yes! And without his organization, the world would be powerless against medical terrorism. We would all be cowering in fear of guilt. And guilty in fear of cowering. <laughs> like, why didn't I give that homeless guy ten dollars? I told him I didn't have cash, but I totally did. Damn it, I was scared. <laughs> I planned to continue his work and fight back against that menace. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that. Are you Italian? <laughs> that has always been the mission of Caduceus. And it will not change. I hope that I have your support in striving toward the future together. And that will not change. I had an idea to start smelling smart bands. <laughs> smelling smart bands. <laughs> I meant selling, but you know, my mind goes to weird places. When I start scratching my head with my hook hand. Am I bleeding? This room has nobody but people he's known for years. <laughs> yeah. So Caduceus will continue in honor of Secretary Anderson. I finished compiling all of our guilt treatment data, but... Delphi's actions seem to be more and more deliberate. Is everyone just gonna finish each other's sentences? Yes. Is that Is that what's happening in this room right now? And we don't have any idea of how far they're going to <laughs> yeah. go. He's like, he says a sentence and then waits for somebody else to finish it. And we <laughs> don't have any idea. <laughs> we need to construct full-scale countermeasure scenarios. <gasps> oh shit, the alarm! Attention all tap. My God! Find out what he said. <laughs> well, well. Speak of the devil. Where, where did you come from? <laughs> what the devil? He's here! <laughs> Shit! I still owe him a soul. I bow to you, Dark Lord. Everyone, gather your supplies and get out there immediately. Yes, sir. God, every day sucks when there's an outbreak. Yeah, seriously. This is, I mean, it's true to life. Didn't you see, ever see the movie Outbreak? Nope. Bit, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a swell movie. Is it good? It's really good. It's super cool. It's got Dustin Hoffman in it. <gasps> People have started collapsing! <laughs> I want three teams. The New York Giants, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the New England Patriots. <laughs> Start treating the most advanced symptoms first, and then win one for the Gipper! <laughs> what does the third team do? Get me coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cooperate with those doctors and instruct them on proper treatment. Understood. Dr. Stiles, Dr. Chase, get ready to operate. Dr. Myers assigned two teams to handle anesthesia. Should we get these cars out of here? Here, here we go. <laughs> Understood, Chief. How did they- How can I help? <laughs> Continue. I'm here too! Continue eating your pudding. <laughs> okay, I'm good at that. Dr. Huffman. <laughs> My medical wickets has been an ornament for far too long. It's time I made good on the hippopotamus oath. <laughs> if you're sure you can operate, we'd welcome your support. Cranberries! As far as treating the guilt, 
Have you ever seen a hippopotamus? <laughs> Their teeth look like Dixie cups. They kill more humans in a year than sharks. I've memorized the surgery footage. He just like drifts between what he's actually supposed to be saying and weird shit. I know what to do, Grandma. <laughs> then good luck, sir. I'll need it. <laughs> My surgical skills haven't rusted over yet. Where's Three my... comes after four. <laughs> when you're counting up. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. <laughs> What's a hippopotamus? <laughs> you literally just told us what a hippopotamus is. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, I think he's stable. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask him out tomorrow night. <laughs> I think he's a keeper. I will save this patient! I will save this hippo! It's a new teriyaki strain. <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> You know, I always went to this nice teriyaki place in the Chinatown. They have great cranberry sauce. Yeah. Duckbill dinosaurs had duckbills. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Okay. Ducks were probably really big in the prehistoric times. Prehistoric. I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. Yes. That's my only moment of clarity. The dinosaurs had three periods. The Jurassic, the Cretaceous, and Picasso's Blue Period. <laughs> and Menopause. God, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. When's the teriyaki coming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, James, Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> he drops the teriyaki and the <laughs> he's got like a bib and shit. Damn it! <laughs> Whoops! God, that looked delicious. Why did they put the patient here? In front of me eating my teriyaki? <laughs> like, doctor, stop dropping food into the patient. He's like, have you ever tried to eat fried <laughs> rice with chopsticks? <laughs> it's pretty impossible. We wheel him in. <laughs> this is the second course. I don't know what words mean anymore. <laughs> mm. Ugu guy pan. <laughs> <laughs> you ever wonder why they call it guy pad when there isn't a guy in a pan? <laughs> Where's the girl pan? <laughs> that guy pan's gonna get lonely. Oh. You guys have any bacon? This patient is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're doing a horrible job. <laughs> I'm scared for this patient. Hey, patient! Aren't you scared for yourself? <laughs> you should be! Patient's like, should you have not given me some sort of anesthesia? <laughs> yeah, uh, is that my lung you're cutting into? Yeah, this is very painful. Look, I'm done. This I'm is too bored. much. <laughs> <laughs> he just like throws all his shit down into the patient. Doesn't this Japanese restaurant have desserts? <laughs> I want some green tea mochi ice cream. Uh, let's talk more about desserts. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. You just got me hungry for warabi mochi. <laughs> what did you call it? I don't know. Uh, oh shit. Bring me an ice cream cone. <laughs> I like ice cream sammies. Do you call them sammies? <laughs> I call them sammies. <laughs> oh my good good god. My mom used to call them Sammies, and we'd get them in the summer before she was brutally murdered in front of me. I like cranberries <laughs> the best! Oh my god. Like, thank god he doesn't have a strong grasp on his memories. <laughs> did that happen to me, or did I just see that yeah. on Lifetime? Am I thinking of Batman? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm thinking... We had just left Gotham Theater! <laughs> <laughs> I have a terrible aversion to bats. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not a baseball game! There's bats everywhere! <laughs> Wait, do I have to do that whole fucking you sure fucking line do. of people again? You're in trouble. Leave this to me. <laughs> Just starts punching him in the face. <laughs> Laugh, damn it! <laughs> I think he's stable. I think he might be stable too. I think I'm stable. Well done, Doctor. Oh, there we. That's uh, that. Wait, that's you. That's you. That's you. <laughs> Oh, I mentioned we expect this outbreak to be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it getting into my precious fridge. 
where I keep my cranberry. I have eight holes of golf left. How did you respond? I, I told uh, them to fuck off. Politicians seem restless. Mm-hmm. Restless as a bowl of jiggling cranberry. <laughs> I, I assume Richard has been holding them back while he was in office. Now that he's gone, there's nothing standing in their way. Um, They'll kill us all! <laughs> <laughs> They're coming! There they are! It's just like a nice couple walking down the street. <laughs> like, what? You're even more serious than your brother, who I can't tell the difference. <laughs> yeah. I've never lost a fight. <laughs> he just says, he says shit like that because he doesn't know which one it is. Yeah. He's like, you're more serious than the other one that looks like you. <laughs> Right? <laughs> <laughs> you are the more serious one, aren't you? He went missing about ten years ago. Are you sure? No. No, it was nine. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm looking for wiretaps and spies! <laughs> Check that closet over there, there might be a ninja! Yeah, push aside the cranberry. <laughs> Would you like a candy to cranberry? We found Professor Blackwell. He's up north in Santa Balboa. Mm. Rocky lives there. <laughs> What's he doing up there? He's apparently hiding in Iodoth Pharmaceutical <laughs> Research Lab. <laughs> it's like having a stroke. <laughs> He's apparently <laughs> hiding in Iodoth Pharmaceutical The FBI has been watching him since late yesterday. Just dreamily looking at his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Idoth is sheltering Blackwell then? <laughs> they told me about it. The FBI called me up and they were like, Hey! <laughs> Long time no see. What kind of question is that? Do you, do you think Idaf is sheltering Dr. Black? What do you think, Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> the question is whether or not they know they're sheltering him. What? I mean, yes, they do. They're jumping to a lot of conclusions here. I doubt the regular employees have any idea he's there. Or what kind of research he could be doing. Or what he likes to wear and do. <laughs> <laughs> or how many times he's watched the movie Ghost? Six! Six here! Six for me! Oh my love! My darling! They're gonna raid the lab? I hunger for your touch! <laughs> tomorrow! Yes! Tomorrow! I, 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 I heard that, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> The FBI told me! Hi. Here, I'm talking to them right now! <laughs> He's like holding a banana. <laughs> FBI! <laughs> it's me again! <laughs> Long time no see! <laughs> to reduce the risk of another guilt outbreak, they want us to be there as well. Then we're sending Derek in with them? That's really our only option. Can you accept the risk, Derek? It's our only option. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Well then. <laughs> that was our only option. <laughs> but there might be one problem. <laughs> What's that? Got your nose. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna smell now? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's referring to Angie. <laughs> what about her? He's got her nose, too. <laughs> <laughs> she has much experience with guilt as Derek does. But see, the thing is, he's only got two thumbs. <laughs> so he can't take my nose. <laughs> Your nose grabbing days are over, Styles. <laughs> I'm smelling the nose grabbing scheme that you're plotting. <laughs> and I'm doing that with the nose that I've got. Oh man, we've lost our minds early in this game grub <laughs> session. But all things considered, taking her might not be a good idea. Don't, I, don't worry, I'll arrange for someone else to assist you. Ugh, I understand, sir. Like, 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 sadly puts his the nose, nose back. back on Angie. <laughs> And she's like, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, is there something else? Oh, I don't think Angie's gonna like that much. 
Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, they're going in after her father. If I were in Angie's place, I'd want to see the truth for myself, you know what I mean? It's a conflict of interest that could compromise the mission. Yeah, but it might be painful for her, but still... They're just like, no. <laughs> Excuse me! Angie, you heard us. Every word! <laughs> You should be eavesdropping! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might think you're a ninja and press the ninja <laughs> button. <laughs> I was this close! <laughs> I'm sorry. I can make my own decisions. Did you stop to consider how I might feel about this? No child, I deserve a choice at the very least. Yeah, fucking Derek is like, actually, yeah, I was literally just saying that, and you were <laughs> eavesdropping so you would know yeah. that I was actually looking out for you. You could watch them arrest your father. Oh, your father? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's an important punctuation. <laughs> Derek was right. I want to see the truth with my own eyes. <laughs> Let her go. Let her go. <laughs> Don't even go there, Styles. <laughs> yeah, look, that's not coming out for another seven years or so. <laughs> Angie may just be my assistant, but she's a lot stronger than I am. I don't think I could have completed all those operations without her. <laughs> what should we do, sir? <laughs> 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 it just jumps out the window. <laughs> Don't make me do stuff! Let her go. Let her Get her go. out of my sight! I doubt we can even find a suitable replacement. And sending Styles in without an assistant would be foolish. For some reason I read Skittles. Where? For Styles. Oh. And sending Skittles in without an assistant would be delicious. <laughs> God, I love grape. Nobody would be eating the Skittles. When are they coming out with cranberry skittles? <laughs> Honestly! I was hoping it'd be in those mystery flavors. Stay tuned to channel- So it begins! <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could have sent more than one doctor, but we have patience. <laughs> the fucking news report's like... <laughs> but the most important issue of the situation is- So it begins! <laughs> 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 Click! Patients here that still need help! Good, uh, Good luck, Derek. All right, well. I'm not Derek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who are you talking? <laughs> oh, it's my guy. <laughs> A long-term assignment in Great Britain. Let me go, you saw. Absolutely. Oh, no, sorry, no, sorry. Damn it, I got too excited. <laughs> what if, like, in the future he starts to become senile and yeah. basically becomes, like... Yes, they ask for both of you specifically. <laughs> They're in the final stages of some project and ask that our most skilled doctor part Wow, I'm having trouble reading there. Ask that our most skilled doctors participate. We are hesitant about their proposition! <laughs> it didn't contain enough cranberry! <laughs> and in my opinion, that's a raw deal! God, if like if this were like a, a TV show in the 80s, like and it, this was like the large break we've had in between these episodes was like the season being done, uh -huh. and he hasn't been seen for a while. That would definitely be how he's reintroduced. Like someone would be like, "Not enough cranberry sauce," and he'd be like, "Did somebody say <laughs> cranberry?" <laughs> oh, woo! Woo! Ooh! <laughs> ah, welcome back to Game Grumps. <laughs> we shouldn't have started this in mid-sentence. But, <laughs> considering they finally decided to ask for our help after months of silence, we agreed. What is she talking about? I, I like to imagine that he just came out like that. Everyone's, yeah. like, everyone's like, you came to talk to us, Doc? But, but consider it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caduceus Europe will also be holding a conference there in about a month. Uh, what are they talking about? Can't remember. We'd like you to attend that as well, and Director Hoffman will be joining you. Okay. Like he said, the British have been quiet about their research since the raid. Oh, he's coming with us. That's right. That's awesome. Now, all of a sudden, they're asking outside organizations for help with some project. <gasps> it's creepy and scary. They must be extremely cranberry if they're willing to break their silence on the issue. <laughs> Personally, I'm all over the internet. Cranberryblog.com. I, I, I just want to see if, like, I can replace every C word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cranberries, they were unwilling to share any information on Delphi only months ago. We would like you to keep us posted on their activities while you're there. 
I'm just gonna avoid saying C words now. Yeah, of course. Is that a spite for you? So they're sharing their data. I thought you said they just wanted skilled surgeons. They made sure we understood none of their research was to be made public. Director Miller is a good man, but I worry about all this secrecy. <laughs> I know he's hiding. I cranberry <laughs> only assumed the government wanted to have others involved as a safety measure. <laughs> I cranberry only. <laughs> Are you willing to accept knowing that there's more to this than meets the eye? Autobots? <laughs> <laughs> I understand the situation, but if they need our help, I'm willing to go. That we accept! That would be a real fucking turn of events if Derek Styles just transformed into a fucking truck. <laughs> I'm on it! <laughs> I could never do that sound. We've made preparations for you to leave in five days. You'll be on duty as usual until then. I'll see you both in a month! I thought I said I'll see you both in my mouth. I'll see you both in my mouth! <laughs> Get over here, you <laughs> giant delicious <laughs> cranberry! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> juicy. You're great in every other juice. <laughs> <laughs> it seems great, Brandon, let's put some thought into this! <laughs> Hi, I'm here! Hello! <laughs> Regardless of my opinion, the results are impressive. I'd like America to research similar methods, if only to keep a cranberry eye on them. <laughs> cranberry eye. What happens to them once the treatment is finished? Furthermore, what happens to their household stats <laughs> <of> cranberries? <laughs> I know somebody who would be interested <laughs> in that. I have a black market buyer. <laughs> He's very particular about his cranberries. <laughs> 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 it's getting late. It's Meteor treatment takes on the risk of sending men off to war. We have to evacuate the attendees before everyone is infected. But how can we? <laughs> Wait. How cranberry we? Sorry. <laughs> it just it seems a little. <laughs> Wait. Reaches into his pocket and pulls out like like a cranberry grappling hook or something. He's like, <laughs> cranberries away. <laughs> Has anyone seen my sack of cranberries? I keep it close to my heart. Oh, there it is. In fact, in my heart. I had my heart transplanted and replaced with a delicious bag of cranberries <laughs> in 1974. <laughs> I've been living off of pure cranberry juice. <laughs> and then since it like, cuts to the chart. Dr. Hoffman, extract the cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> it's easier! <laughs> okay. Why okay. am I speaking so fast? Brandon King is just going to save those people, Langston. Langston. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to stop this if at all possible. I'll be helping with the operations. <laughs> Who's named Langston? <laughs> How does this affect the situation? <laughs> it's just like, what's going on? <laughs> Please explain everything to me. <laughs> Mind if I try to get more? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that sweet red goodness <laughs> in berry form. Is that the room that has all the popcorn? Because <laughs> I'll go get more if you want me to. Uh, where do who? We were talking about pizza. Let's go eat pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey.